everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Morphe foundation that they just released. This is the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation, and I got the shade F1.20. They came out with, I believe, let me grab my phone. I want to make sure I say it all correctly. Sorry, I itched myself, so I have like a red spot there. Um, okay, so they came out with 60 foundation shades, two primers, 31 concealers, and 15 powders. So that is all good. They have lots of different shades for everyone, which is great. I think this might be a little dark on me, but we'll work with it today. I want to explain to you guys about this foundation, what it claims to do. So it claims to be a 24 hour long wear foundation, sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of oils, fragrance, and parabens, and great for all skin types. Now, I know it says 24 hours, but I will not be wearing this for 24 hours uh, for a lot of reasons, but mostly because how many of us actually wear foundation for 24 hours or need a foundation to last 24 hours? I feel like when people put like times on things, it's just kind of ridiculous sometimes when they're like 24 hours. Um, you know, like if an eight hour foundation, thank you. But when you throw it into 24 hours, you just put a, make a lot of room for like there to be an air. This is $18. And I used a, one of someone's code at checkout, you guys know the drill, you know, you can use with a Jack Attack or James or whatever at checkout and get a discount. Now the discount was like $2 off of the $18, but then shipping was $5. So this foundation ended up coming out to around $23 for me with the tax and everything. So that is not that cheap of foundation. I can go to the drugstore and find you know foundations for cheaper now if you live near morphe store you don't have to pay for shipping but a lot of us i feel like do not live near morphe stores and will have to pay shipping so i'm going to be judging this foundation as if it is 23 dollars because that's what i paid for so the first thing that i'm going to do is prime my skin i'm going to be using the tasha silk canvas primer um i just really love this one and i feel like it's not that thick and since this is probably going to be a thick foundation i'm you know don't want to put too many layers on my skin so now that we are all primed this is what the foundation looks like. It has a nice yellow undertone to it and it's a pretty light color, which is perfect for me. I know I come off as the color of whiteout on camera, but I do have some pigment in my skin. And um, yeah, I, this might be a little dark, but I can get away with it. Now it comes with a safety seal, which I really like. I feel like all foundations should come with those. And I'm just gonna peel that off right now. Oh goodness, oh there we go. And I'm going to put this on a palette. And you can all see what it looks like. Oh, actually, it's a lot lighter than it looked right here. Like right here when I'm looking at it, that's perfect. I think this will actually be a really nice match. So I'm going to be applying this with my Beauty Blender because it is a, a thick foundation and um, I feel like I'm going to need to tone down that just a little bit and I feel like it will apply best with a sponge. So here we go. I'm sorry, you can hear my garage opening and closing right now. Well, look how light that looks on my skin. Yeah, this matches me pretty well. Wow. Sorry, that's my garage. Hmm. I know it's coming off like super full coverage on camera and you could kind of see the difference between the two sides of my face, but in a mirror, it's really not that it's not looking that crazy like full coverage but I am having the problem of I don't know if you notice this, but like every time I go over it like say I'm like doing this just patting it seems to be coming off a bit so I'm gonna wait for that to dry before I start the other side I kind of want to see if I can build up this side and then we can kind of compare the two it's gonna apply it directly to to my skin Let's see how that works so I'd say this is the difference, like it, it, it is covering up a lot, especially on camera. It's really coming off full coverage. Um, so now I'm just gonna do it to the other side. Sorry, my lips look crazy red right now, but I, I got foundation on them and I just wiped the foundation off. So no, they are very red, but wow, look how pale I look. I look like a vampire right now. I look like I just sucked someone's blood because my lips are so red. Okay, so now let's get up bit close and personal and let's look, really look at this foundation. Now, I, the pros of this so far, I love the color. I think this color matches me. Like it is my exact match, which I love. That doesn't happen to me very often. Um, it covers up everything. Like, as you can see, my face just looks like blank right now. Um, 
What I will say though guys, so I have dry skin and I just don't think this is really gonna work out for people with like dry skin because, sorry my hair is, what is happening? I don't think it's gonna work out for people with dry skin because it has picked up on like every single texture on my skin. Um, and it's like really, really dry. Yes, I don't, I'm, I'm 24 years old. I do not get fine lines and wrinkles in any foundation really and I don't know, like, I look bad. <laughs> the real deal, I know this lighting like, sucks right the second, but I feel like at least it will sh let me show you guys. Do you see how like, ooh, look at all that texture. You guys, I don't get wrinkles. And like, it is showing every single wrinkle. Like, what is that? I've never seen that line in my life. And look, like, you guys see how it's like separating on my cheeks? Like this does not happen to me normally. Like, I don't know you guys, this like doesn't usually happen to me. Like I said, I didn't even know I had wrinkles there. I just found wrinkles. I found wrinkles on my face. That is, that is not what you want from a foundation. You do not want one to show you your imperfections. You don't want to cover them up. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got a wrinkle there? I've like never seen that, ever. Well, now I'm gonna see it forever. I'm like, now I'm gonna always look at it. Finish off my makeup and I'll be back. I'm not gonna drag this video out too much longer. Um, I'm gonna finish off my makeup, see how other things apply on top of it and hope for the best. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I applied the rest of my makeup and everything applied just fine on top of it. Um, I don't know if, I have mixed feelings about setting this with a powder. I just lightly put a powder on my face and did my contour and my blush. And yes, it did look powdery, but then I just sprayed some Max Fix, Fix Plus on it and it was fine. Um, what else? And I just did like a simple eye and lip look since I don't really feel like the eyes and the lips really matter when you're testing foundation so much. But just so you know, the products uh, la layered on, like the conceal and all that, layered on just fine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let this go for a few more hours. I'm going to insert a photo right here. This is what it looks like when I take a photo of it with my like ring light I had on, just cause there's no other lighting outside, it's dark out. <laughs> so here's a photo of it right here. And also I took a flash test photo, I'm gonna put that right here. And, um, or it's gonna pop out in front of you, I don't know, I'm using new editing systems, so I don't know if I'm gonna get it to work the way I want it to, but this photographs very well, in my opinion. It did not have flashback and, um, you know, right now with this ring light on, which is kind of like more like natural lighting, um, it looks nice. It really does photograph well. So maybe I wouldn't use this as like my everyday foundation. As of right now, I would definitely say I wouldn't use that as every day. But if I'm taking photographs, like this is a really nice go-to. Like I feel like it really, it just gives you a nice like blur to your face, which is probably because it has, you know, silicone in it and things like that. But yeah, those are my opinions so far. So um, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, so we're back. It's been about six hours and I wanna give you guys an update and my final thoughts on this foundation. Um, okay, so let's just look in the mirror and see what I, let me see what I think. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> I was thinking I was gonna come on here and be like, you guys, it actually like doesn't look funky. But I don't know, it, this is such a hard foundation. Like I said, I think I like this foundation for photos, but everyday life, like it is not looking good on me. Why is this being funky on my skin? Guys, okay, here's, here's the deal. This is, we're just gonna break it down here. This foundation looks terrible on my skin in person. I have very dry skin, so especially in the winter. In the summer, it's more normal, but in the winter, I have dry skin. And I wanna give you guys the real, real on this foundation and just say, this will look great in photos. Like right now, I feel like on camera with this lighting and stuff, it's coming across really nicely. I'm gonna insert photos of my skin when I take photos. And that sounds funny. Um, and it looks good. So, and I have foundations that look amazing in person and don't photograph well. I thought I would like it and um, you know, I just, I don't think it's worth your money or time. You know, if you have it, like I already have it, I'm not gonna return it cause it's just gonna have to pay for shipping and stuff. It's really unfortunate though because this matched my skin so nicely and I, you know, I was rooting for it because I just, 
don't know, they, they came out with 60 Shades and it seemed like such a great idea and I love that they are trying to expand their range and like create this whole thing. It's just, it doesn't work on my skin. And just because it doesn't work on my skin doesn't mean it won't work on yours. If you have dry skin, I would say pass. If you have oily skin, this might be an option for you because matte foundations and long wearing foundations usually look a lot better on your skin than mine because this these kind of cling to like dry patches and stuff. So. Yeah, that is my final thoughts. I'm not in love with it. I wouldn't pay $23 for this, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's review. Um, please remember to follow me on my Instagram. I'm going to leave it right here. And I hope you guys all just have an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!